hey guys and welcome back to my channel savvy licious arrangements so here i didn't show you guys um how i cleaned the apples because i have several videos on how i cleaned them and because i was kind of in a rush um i didn't have time to do all of that so pretty much what i did was um clean my apples in hot water boil them get the wax off set a set a you know you know the routine if you've been doing candy apples like me so here i am starting off with um two and a half cups of sugar i'm not doing three or four cups because i'm only dipping six candy apples and here i'm pretty much showing you that you can do two colors um at the same time so have you ever had a customer or just if you just wanted to do two colors at one time but you only did one color and then you waited until you boiled all of your candy mixture out of one pot and then go ahead and starting all over again i didn't really want to do all of that this time so i was just like well i'm gonna try and do um two colors at the same time in different pots and see how that works out so <clears throat> i was just like all right well, let's give it a try so here I have my two and a half cups of sugar, one cup um, K-Ro syrup, and one cup water. Um, I was about to say something, I forgot. But here I'm just, you know, pretty much getting all of my ingredients together so that I can go ahead and start prepping um, all of my apples and uh, getting them ready so they can pretty much be dipped. So and the small pot this is just the pot that i normally use for my candy apples um only because this is what i like i've been using this pot for the last two years and my pot that you see on the left side is uh a pot that i just have when i cook food on a regular basis so the client wanted um red and yellow candy apples or burgundy and yellow candy apples for a football team theme and I was just like okay uh but because I was such in a crunch time I didn't have time to boil can um candy in one pot and then have to know you know take it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to boil your candy and um I didn't have to want to wait to dip candy and then go ahead and uh start all over again in the same pot and then that makes more time go by faster or you know slower so i just said i was going to do it twice at the same time so here i have my yellow food coloring i'm just using wilton and i'm using my ameri color in a bright white and then i'm going to turn my stove on high which is anywhere in the middle of seven and eight and then in the smaller pot which you see me doing now i have red food coloring and i just got this small bottle of food coloring from hobby lobby uh, i wanted to try it out and see um if the consistency for it is pretty good like what you know does the color come out pigmented enough so um i'm just mixing my candy mixture in i'll go ahead and add my white so that way uh you can see the color it won't be so transparent i do these videos so often that i kind of like forget <laughs> what to say how to say it when to say it when not to say it so i'm kind of just following a, a video tread on um the screen and yeah so i'm just going in and adding more red so that it could be bright uh so here's my red and here's my yellow and then i am going to go in and have my uh have the candy on the stove and let it let it do its thing you know let it let it boil so for this you would definitely need two candy thermometers um which you see right here so I have a new one and then I have an old one, but I never threw the old one away. So I'm glad I didn't because it came in handy. And it's not necessarily old. It's just the fact that the back of it where it sits on the stove, um, it kind of, it's kind of like bent a little bit. So it doesn't really hold the 
hold it on a pot completely or correctly. So here I'm boiling both candy mixtures at the same time. Oh, look at that. I look like a pro. Okay, I look like a pro here. So I wonder if I could do this with like four colors at the same time. Oh, I should try that. If you would guys like to see three or four colors at the same time, leave it in the comments below or like this video so I know that that's what you guys want. So here I'm just cleaning my apples off um, with a dry towel to get the extra sap off of them um i did do my favorite method which is um putting the apples in the oven for a good 10 to 15 minutes and um allowing them to sit out and completely cool when you do the oven method you cannot go straight in and dip your apples like an hour or two later you have to wait until the apples are completely cooled so if say for instance if you have an order to complete the same day with candy apples then i would get up early in the morning around seven o'clock depending on what time you need your apples done sometimes you may have to get up at five in the morning but if you have to get up at let's say roughly seven o'clock um go ahead and boil your apples um put them in the oven for no longer than 15 minutes and um let them cool if you have a cool place in your house or somewhere that wherever it is that you're doing your candy apples let them sit there and completely cool even if you have to turn the fan on for them i'm just giving you options to make them cool a little faster don't put them in the refrigerator because that draws the moisture out of them again so don't put them in the refrigerator because then once you take them out the refrigerator they tend to sweat and then all of the moisture starts to come out of it again so you don't want that so here i'm just placing my wooden sticks and my paper straws into my candy apples and if you would like to know where i got these wooden sticks from i'll leave them in the description box below and i didn't get the whole entire video for the yellow i could have sworn i thought i had the camera rolling but it wasn't and when i noticed it i had already pretty much dipped majority of the candy apples for the yellow so here is what one of the yellow candy apples look like it looks really good i like the yellow color So I'm just going to place it onto my silicone mat. Um, there was a small little bubble from me picking it back up. But nevertheless, you know, you kind of get those at the bottom sometimes. But for the most part, my candy apples are completely bubble free. So here I just had some um, extra strawberries. And I just wanted to go ahead and dip a few of them um, just to try it out, see what it was like. And here, that's what you see me doing. So once all of the candy mixture um, is off of the candy, the strawberry, then I will go ahead and place it onto my silicone mat also. So here is my red or burgundy. I'm, I'm applying my um flavoring which was watermelon and i am going in and i'm just mixing it make sure i'm getting all of the bubbles out all of the bubbles um didn't go away completely uh but because i was in a time crunch i just went ahead and start dipping but because my apples were completely um dried out from the sap i didn't get any bubbles on them at all So you can clearly see there's like a foam in my candy mixture, but because my apples are completely clean and dry, there's no bubbles in them at all. So the color from Hobby Lobby, the color came out pretty good. Um, it did darken um, a little bit, 
I could have added some more white, but um, the Americolor Bright White, every time I seem to add it in after uh, my candy mixture is done um, boiling to 300 degrees, it always gives me those white specks. And I do not like how the white specks look. Um, it just looks kind of unattractive um, when you're when you're going for a certain look. So here are what the candy apples look like. And this was done in two different pots at the same time. And if you move quickly, you can achieve the same thing. So here I'm just showing you guys how I bag up my candy apples because of, mm. um, you know, safety and not having them get germs or anything like that on them. Uh, and because um, the humidity from your house or from outside, uh, they won't allow, you know, they won't get sticky. So I uh, tend to bag my candy apples up individually. And that's pretty much it. So if you would like to see a more in-depth video of the two colors or more colors, three colors, four colors, or whatever the case may be, leave it in the description box below. That would be something fun to do or try and get that out for you guys. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Until next time, I'll see you in my next one. Thank you guys. Happy holidays, and we have more videos coming up soon. All right, see you guys in my next one. Love you, bye.